Yeah. Seem to hang around here always. Yeah, see the bigger picture in small ways. Damn, it wasn't ever really there with you. Gargoyle took energy I shared with you. What's up, y'all? It's Fruit by the Six Foot Five. Welcome to the video. You. Welcome. Welcome. For those who don't know me, I'm a fruitarian. Sometimes I eat vegetables, sometimes I stay with straight fruits. I'm six foot five, skinny as fuck, and this is the vlog today. So, having a bad day, how it, you know how we just go on these spurts where it's like, man, you know, things are going good. Like the frequency is just like, it's like this. <laughs> you know, it's just like, damn. And then you have a bad day where it's like, and it just like, it's hard for it to like go, you know, get back on it. That's what I had today. So recently I got, and these are bad days, quote unquote. None of us have real bad days or real problems. If you're watching this video, you don't have any real problems. For example, you're not dodging bombs. You're not dodging bullets in a war-torn country. Um, you know what I'm saying? You have food in your stomach. You ate today. If you're watching a YouTube video, you don't have problems, period. I don't want to fucking hear it. So, moving on. Uh, you know, these bad days, quote-unquote. It's like, I was, I've was. i been working at this spot for a while now. Not a while, like three and a half months. Um, it's a natural gro grocery store, and I got promoted to produce manager. And it was th this is the most pristine uh, like title I've ever had in my life when it comes to um, you know just a title like my working title. Like, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm the produce manager at. So I won't say where I work, but I'm the produce manager at this spot. That's a big deal for me. I've never had a manager title before, and a lot of my friends who would see this and be like, damn, that they made T.O. the manager? <laughs> but yeah, and I'm changing. I have a lot more responsibility and I'm a lot more serious with my life now. Um, but anyways, it got promoted to this, you know, produce manager position and things were going so well. I just, I literally just got my first paycheck today, Delro Deposit, and I looked at it like mid shift after this bad thing happened. And I was just like, damn, like I've never had this much money in my life before, like hourly making this much. It's it's not it's nice for me. It's really nice, and I'm so grateful. And I was just thinking last night. It was funny, man, because I got into it with my roommate. My roommates are my homies. I love my I love my roommates, and we've known each other. And like I'd be on my shit. I'd be like, oh well, I don't have any friends. I'm on my solo shit. But in the end, it's like I always have those people where it's like we're near and we have connections from the past, and like it's all love. Like I love everybody, and it's I. I do, I y'all are my friends and I fucking love y'all. And it, it, so moving on anyways, I got into it with my roommate cause like I'm just a super light sleeper and he be coming home like doing his thing. And you know what I'm saying? Like we just kind of live separate lives on like the clock like that. Like he's kind of a night owl in that sense. And I just, I go to bed at like seven or eight cause I have to get up at four thirty five in the morning. So he, he'd be coming home and like making noise, but he doesn't realize like it like it makes me angry and stuff. So I like got into it with him and I was just like, bro, da, 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 da. <laughs> but in reality, it's just like, he's just living his life, you know? And I, it's like, what are you going to do? Like that fool's living his life. I have my life over here. And just cause we don't connect, it's like, and when I got into it with him, I was just like, after the fact, I didn't tell him this, but it made me realize I was just like, man, you're tripping on this fool for living his life. You know, he's doing his thing. He's not doing nothing wrong. And you have a place to stay. Like I have a place to stay right now. I'm not sleeping on the streets. So I'm just so grateful. And it just made me so much, so fucking grateful. So fast forward to two days later today, I was waking up. I was just like, man, I'm a kick ass. Like I have this position now in natural. Sorry, I won't say the name. I have this position now in my grocery store and you know, I'm a kick ass because I'm so grateful that I have a place to stay, I have a warm room to stay in. I have food every night in my stomach and I'm just so grateful. So I get to work and I'm just like, yeah, man, I'm a kick ass. And th things are going good for like three hours, four hours. And then the store manager comes in and it didn't help that she, she was like closing the blinds when she came in. And I was like, Jana, 
oh man, I shouldn't have said the name, but I was like, you're a vampire. And I was joking around because she always closes the blinds and I always open them back up because I love the sunlight and she doesn't like that stuff in the morning. And this is like the worst day to call her a vampire. She, I was like, you're a vampire. And she was like, ah, oh, that like said something back. And I was dealing with the customer. And then when I got done with the customer, she came up to me and she was just like, we got to talk just like that. And I was just like, oh, I was like, wait, what, what? I was like, what's going on? She was like, we need to talk about your time management. And she was like, what did you clean on the produce rack this morning? And I was just like, oh, well, honestly, I thought it was once a month, not once a week. And she was just like, no, nah, it's it's every, it's every, and this is just like a clear cut mistake that I had because they just moved me to produce manager. I've only been there for three months and like, it's a lot of shit you have to do. And I don't have an assistant. I was the assistant coming in and their produce, then my produce manager got moved to a grocery manager. Anyways, she was like harping me. She's like, nah, it's, it, da, 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 da. and I was just like, in my mind, I was just like, dude, it, I'm doing this fucking whole department by myself. But to her, it's like, yo, we gave you this position. You better step up, motherfucker. So things were going so good in my life. And then she just harped on me. She was just like, and I'm, and I'm, this is, it's going to be my way or the highway, essentially. It's literally what she said in a nutshell. She was like, you need to do it my way. Da, 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 da. And it like, it shook me so much that I was just like, she was just like, I'm not joking around. She was just like, we put you in this position. Da, da, da. X, Y, and Z, like literally letting me have it in front of customers. And I was just like, oh my fucking God. Like I, did, I wasn't embarrassed, but in my head, I was just like, I love this job and I don't want to lose this job. I like the people I work with. I like what I'm doing so much and it keeps me active. It keeps me going. That's the best part about the job. I get to move. My lymphatic system's always moving. So when she was laying it on me, I was just like, oh my God, like I was tripping. I was just like, I, I like, no, like, and so quote unquote bad day, right? And I'm still shook from that shit. That like that like tomorrow she's gonna come up with some more shit and be like, and da 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 and this is the last straw and you're like you're gone. And I'm just scared she's gonna say that. But I have to calm down and realize I'm doing my best and everything's all good. And I'm growing up and you know it's a learning experience with everything. And quote unquote this bad day, you know, I was going strong literally for three months. I was just having positive energy, nothing but that shit. And then today happened and it's just like, damn. And it really took me back. It set me back a lot, um, but I gotta be positive. So what I'm saying with this y'all is like, when we have these days, it's like, we cannot let that shit manifest us. Fuck that shit. You gotta get up. You gotta fucking be grateful. And that's what I'm working on. It's like my gratitude. It's like, yeah, that had a bad day, but it's like, damn, man. You, I got mangoes for dinner. I got fucking bananas for dinner, smoothie with dates for dinner. It's like, motherfucker, you have it made. So don't, so just, you know what I'm saying? Brush that shit off. If you're having a bad day, if something really fucked up to you happened this past week, this past month or today, man, brush that shit the fuck off and wake up the next day being like, man, what the fuck am I grateful for? Damn. My family's, you know what I'm saying? My family's not dying, you know? I don't have a fucking serious ass disease where I'm bedridden in the hospital. Like, motherfucker, get up and go kill that shit. I'm about to get up and go kill my shift tomorrow. And I'm thankful that Jana put me in that position. And I'm thankful she fucking chewed me out today in front of customers, letting me know that this is not a game. You have a good ass job and you don't want to jeopardize shit. So motherfucker, if you having a bad day or something like that shit, do what I'm about to do. Eat some fucking fruit, brush that shit off and go back in tomorrow and kill that shit. It's fruit by the six for five. I love y'all. And I hate y'all. It's a balance. But let's go, y'all. Let's be grateful, man. What are you fucking grateful for? I'm grateful for so much shit. Let's go. I'm fucking grateful. Love y'all. Peace.